This is Ethan Heisler, and this is another edition of Just a Bank Minute. As you're all aware, LIBOR, a mainstay of the financial markets, will terminate in just 30 more months. A group designated by regulators to come up with the replacement, the Alternative Reference Rate Committee, ARC, picked a risk-free overnight rate, the Secured Overnight Financing Rate, SOFR, as LIBOR's replacement. LIBOR is a term unsecured rate reflecting the counterparty risk a bank faces lending to another bank. A lot of bank loans are tied to LIBOR, including adjustable rate mortgages, uh, arms, and student loans. A lot of commercial loans, multifamily loans, and of course, swaps are also tied to LIBOR. Because SOFR and LIBOR are so fundamentally different, Banks are trying to devise an add-on rate to SOFR to make it equivalent to LIBOR. The graph shows the difference between one month LIBOR minus SOFR. And while normally LIBOR should be higher than SOFR, every few weeks the SOFR rate spikes above the one month LIBOR rate and you get the negative spikes you see in the graph. There are a lot of issues that still need to be resolved before the transition to the at the end of 2021. But I have to imagine it will be difficult to explain to a borrower who was paying on a LIBOR rate that the new rate will be based on SOFR plus an add-on to make SOFR equivalent to LIBOR when SOFR is higher than LIBOR. You can read more about this in the latest edition of the newsletter, Bank Treasurer's Talk Over Dinner. This is Ethan Heisler, and you have been watching Just a, Just a Bank Minute.